Hello everyone. Today we can see an overview of formulas in build apps. Formulas allow you to filter a list, transform a text, do data type conversion, format date, format currency, add logic, do data validation, read and transform various answer values, etc. Any time you would want to transform the data before binding it to the an UI element, you can think of using formulas. Before we dive into formulas, let's see what data binding means and how variables play a role in it. Data binding is a technique that connects data sources to the UI interface elements, ensuring that changes in one are automatically reflected in the other. The data source can be a database or a variable. Variables can hold values and can be of certain data types like a number, text, list, or object depending on the value you want to store into it. There are three types of variables in build apps. App variables, page variables, and data variables. Here is a sample application where app variable, page variable, and data variables are already defined. App variable can hold the data and it is available in all the pages of an application. If an application has three pages, the app variable is accessible in all the three pages and can be used for read and write operations and could be used for showing data shared between different pages. Here, order ID is an app variable of type UUID. There are multiple other data types available to set the data type of all the three types of variables. Page variables are available only on the page it is defined in and could be used for keeping the state of the current page. In this page, product name and product price are two different page variables created. Product name is of type text and product price is of type number with an initial value of 2000. Data variables are similar to other variables but are used for holding data from external data sources such as SAP systems or third-party APIs and allow UI components to interact with the data so that you can do create, read, update, delete operations. Here, products one is a data variable created from the products entity. You can either fetch a list of records or a single record or create a new record. When you add a data variable, the logic to fetch data comes along with it. Now let's do some data binding with the page variables we just created. To do so, we need to drag and drop a UI element, text in this case, click on the binding icon to see the various binding types and choose the page variable product name. We can again drag and drop a text element and bind the product price page variable by doing similar steps like before. Let's save our changes and preview the app. The initial values of the product name and product price are displayed as expected. Now, if we want to display the currency along with the price, we would need to concatenate a text and a number, which is as achievable using formulas. Formulas are one of the various binding types available to bind data to a UI element and one of the most flexible approach to transform the data. Let's click on the binding icon next to the product price element and choose the binding type as formula this time. To display the currency, we would have to prefix the dollar symbol in case we want to show the price in dollars and use the plus operator to concatenate a text and a number. You can see the currency is displayed along with the price. Now that you have seen how formulas can transform the data before displaying it on the UI, let's look at the formula editor a little closer to see the various possibilities. The formula editor can be invoked by clicking the binding icon corresponding to a UI element from the properties tab. And also from the properties tab of logic functions added to the logic canvas. The formula editor has easy access to all different types of variable like app variable, page variable data variable, theme, 
sensor and system variables. We already learned about app variable, page variable and data variable earlier. Sensor variables are the environment and device related information collected by the sensors in mobile devices such as GPS pos positioning, atmospheric pressure, magnetic fields, acceleration values, etc. System variables covers things like current app version, screen width, operating system, form factor, runtime, file system, currently logged in user details, etc. Some of these information are only available in native apps and not while running on the web. There are a lot of built-in functions as well available to format a date, transform a list, transform text among others. You can click on any of the formulas and read the description of how it can be used and uh, uh, see some examples on its usage. Let's see a couple of examples of list functions. The generate range function constructs a list with consecutive numbers from start number to end number. Here, uh, the start number is 0 and end number is 5. So, the list of numbers from 0 to 5 has been generated. We can modify the start and end number to from 1 to 10 and see the new list is generated is instantaneously. By default, the list numbers are incremented by 1. We can change it to 2 and see the numbers are incremented by 2 from the start number. The other list function we can look at is in array. Given a list and an item whose schema matches the list schema, return true if exactly that item can be found in the list or false if not found. The array variable contains 100, 3 and 20. If we look for 3 within this list, the result is true because 3 is found in the list. If we change it to 5, the result is false because 5 does not exist in this list. You can also type in the formula in the formula field and it will give you the possible options that are available in this formula editor. And once you choose the enter, it will give you the possible function parameters. Here the function parameters are start and end. We can give some sample values. And if you see on the right side, uh, the documentation appears at the as well. And if you give start and end number, it will show the possible results. If there is any syntax error, the validator will highlight the errors. If you prefer to read more about formulas in build apps, you can check out the SAP help portal page. There are few noteworthy blog posts written by Daniel as well as other community members in the SAP community portal. The links to these articles are provided in the description.